Radio, Raheem here with the chairman, Bob Arum. And we talked about Manny Pacquiao not wanting to come down to 135. Uh, that seems like a reasonable decision, especially now that uh, he's firmly campaigning at 47 again. Uh, obviously, he's got the Broner fight ahead of him. Everyone's talking about a possible Mayweather rematch, assuming if he beats Broner. I'm curious, Bob, like uh, knowing Pacquiao so well and guiding his career for so long, are these fights that you would have set up for him? And, and how do you feel he fares against Broner and, and Mayweather again? Well, I wish Manny the best of luck. He was a great uh, uh, guy to promote, uh, you know. But, uh, you know, that comes an end for everybody. Uh, I just hope uh, Manny hasn't reached the end. Uh, I just uh, wish him the best. You know, people have uh, written the obituary for Amir Khan a couple of times when he hit the canvas, and it seems like he's not ready to quit, and you've certainly been in the press about possibly this matchup with Crawford and Khan. Is that a real thing? And uh, what are the details on that? When can we expect that? Well, I've talked to Amir Khan. He seems interested in the fight. We'll have to see. I know it would be, make a very, very interesting fight. Khan is younger than Manny is. Uh, I think he feels that he can give Crawford a real fight so we'll have to see but it's not a done deal yet. Uh, at 47 with a guy that has a kind of knockout power that Crawford has you know that the fans online or whatnot are, are just expecting a con an easy knockout for him why are they wrong and what makes this matchup the right time the right fight for Crawford? Crawford is a small welterweight he's not a big welterweight Khan is much bigger physically than Crawford is. Do I think Crawford will beat Khan? Yeah, I think he will, but it's not an easy fight. Khan is a very, very slick, good boxer. In other words, he showed that with Canelo, but Canelo was too big for him and ended up knocking him out. We know uh, Khan's been advised by Al Heyman, and the fight that everybody really wants to see is Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Uh, if the Khan fight happens, or if it doesn't, if he goes Crawford's way, can you see a Spence matchup happening? Can you see yourself working with Bob Arum for the good of that fight? I mean, well, <laughs> with uh, Al Heyman for the good of that fight? I would love to do that fight. You know, it's not a question... You know, Al Heyman and I don't get in the ring and fight each other. We just have our fighters sign a contract. I have said from the get-go, for since Terrence won the welterweight title, uh, that I would love to do uh, Terrence against uh, Errol Spence. I know Terrence wants that fight. Uh, I would love to have it happen. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't happen. But again, I only can speak from my side. And lastly, Bob, talking about weight disparity in a, in a single division, we saw a heavyweight classic, an instant classic last Saturday. I'm curious of your thoughts about Fury Wilder, who you felt won, and how you felt that thing uh, shaked out entertainment-wise. I thought it was a tremendous heavyweight fight. It was a credit to the sport. I had uh, Fury winning the fight on points, uh, but... That being said, it was a very entertaining fight. The fans got their money's worth, and by all means, they should do a rematch. Do you think, does it change your opinion, does either one of those guys beat Anthony Joshua? I think Anthony Joshua was number three. I think they should forget about Anthony Joshua, fight in the United States, and fight each other. Radio Rahim with Bob Arum. Thank you for the time, man. <laughs> the chairman's got his fight on Saturday night at Madison Square Garden. Pedraza versus Lomachenko. We'll see you there.